Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you for joining me for today's video, which is a little bit different to my usual soap making ones. If you caught the last video, you would have seen I got some new soap molds and these are from off of Seasun Soap and Cutters who are now making silicon liners to go into a select few of their wooden molds. Now if you haven't seen that last video and you're interested to see how well these silicon liners perform, I have left a link up in the top right hand corner for you so you can go and check them out. In that video, I do mention that I am going to mark up my molds so that I know where my cut lines are on my cutter. Now I could have done this straight away and have saved all the sort of messing around and cutting my embeds, which you'll see in some future videos. But the reason I actually held off is because I wanted to see how I wanted my soap ends to be. I didn't know if I wanted to get it so I ended up with four nice, big, chunky, so pens or if I wanted it so that I ended up with six little bit narrower sort of so pens. I decided after making a few christening all of my molds that I really did prefer just having the four because when I cut it so I had a the skinny one at one end and then a big chunky one at the other end to cut in half it was quite hard to get that thicker one to cut in half evenly so I've decided I want to go ahead and just make it so I get two nice thick ends on either end of my cut loaf. So now that I've decided that, it is time to start marking my lines for my cutter onto here. In theory, it should be 2.5 centimeters between all my wires, which is what I ordered, but because it is a handmade cutter and handmade is not perfect, some of my wires are at 2.5, some are 2.4, some are at 2.7, which does kind of really play havoc on your placement of um, embed so it's really important if you are marking up your molds to mark the placement that are on your wires and not measure 2.5 along there so I'm going to show you how I personally like to mark up my molds let's go so to do this I actually need to get my loaf mold raised up off of the bench so I'm going to use two of my slab molds and then I'm going to get my loaf mold and I'm going to put it as far back as I possibly can and you'll see why very soon. Once I've got that all lined on there, just making sure that's in nice and even, I'm going to take my soap cutter and I'm going to open it up and rest it on the top. And this is why I need it to go back so that we don't catch on all this stuff underneath. Oop. That's it. So now that I've got it lined up onto the top here, I know, because I have actually marked up um, two others of this soap cutter already, I just thought I'd take you along. I know that I want this first wire here to be 1.5 centimeters away from the wood edge. I chose to do it that way because the number was too hard from off the silicon liner. So I just need to bump it down just by a millimeter. And that is perfect. And we're going to do the same on this side, make sure I've got that 1.5, which I do. And I'm also just making sure that my soap mold is actually butted up against this edge of my cutter. So you can see it is nicely butted up, which means that my wires are nice and straight across my cutter here, which will make sure that we get nice, even cuts, nice, even mark lines as well, so that they're not skew if. Now what I'm going to do is I have got myself a little permanent marker here and what I'm going to do, the reason I'm using a permanent marker is because I already have a few pencil lines on here. This is going to mean that I can distinguish which lines I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take the top off and where my line is on my cutter or my wire, I'm just going to mark it with my marker like so and I'm going to go all the way along. We're going to do this side and we'll do this side. I'm gonna make sure that this is marking. I think I might need a thicker one. That one was only a 01 in um, width of my nib. This one is an 05 and that is better. So I'm gonna go along, mark all of these up. So now that I've got all of my lines marked along here, you can see we've got, this is actually bigger than 2.5 centimeters and because we're gonna get that extra end piece. So what I'm gonna do is move my wires down so that this wire sits where this wire is and then I can see if that mark is actually in the right place. Okay. 
All right, so now I've got all of my lines on there. We can take our cutter off. Now, you could leave the lines that are on the, um, on the mold as is, but there are a couple of issues doing it that way. If you have used a permanent marker, sometimes when you get oil and water on these, it can actually blow those lines out and they'll actually seep across and you won't know where that sort of exact cut line is. And if you leave them as pencil markings, they do eventually fade. So what I like to do is now use a wood burner to etch in these lines. So here is my wood burner. It has been on warming up. I picked this up at Bunnings, which is for those of you not in Australia, one of our hardware stores. And I think I paid about 30 bucks for it. And I use it a lot to mark up molds and things like that. When I got it, it came with a whole heap of different tips in here as well. I've just got a nice little pointed tip in it just to um, get some nice fine lines. I'm going to take my metal ruler and it's important that you use a metal one, not silicone or plastic because the burner will melt it. I am also going to take this out, talking about melting. I'm going to take my silicone liner out just in case I touch it with the burner and what I'm going to do is line my ruler up against the lines that I've done and then just very very slowly I'm going to move across the wood burning in the lines and I'm going to do this all the way along so once I've got those ones in I'm going to use my ruler slide it across line up those lines and off I go again and it's important to go slowly with the wood burner otherwise you don't get a nice even um, marking on your mold so I'm going to get all of this one done the mold so we know exactly where to place our embeds I mark mine so that my embeds will go between these lines some people like to mark it this is where you will place your embed I like to mark my cutter lines so keep that in mind when you are marking them up the other thing keep in mind when you are using your metal ruler to do that um, burning to get the straight edge don't put your finger near where the um, the burner is because heat will travel through the metal ruler it's not so bad it will burn you but it does get warm so I try and put, make sure my fingers are away from where the burn lines are going to go now what I do have is another mold that needs marking up so I'm going to take my silicone liner out so we don't put any more stress on those wires of the soap cutter and I know that each and every one of these molds is just they're just so perfectly made they are exactly the same I'm going to line my two molds up together making sure they are in the same place and then I'm going to line my ruler up so it matches up with those lines and then I'm just going to go ahead and start marking my second mold going through that same motion just going slowly across the wood to get a nice even burn you don't want to go too slow that you end up actually setting fire to wood <laughs> but you will get the hang of it as you do it so let me get this one all done up So now all of my molds are marked up, ready for me to make soaps with embeds. Now wood burning is a pretty permanent solution to marking up the lines on your mold, but there are ways to fix it if you either make a mistake or maybe you change from a single bar cutter where you can control that 2.5 to a multi bar cutter where some of the lines are in odd places. You can easily fix it by getting some sandpaper, sandpapering the edge of the molds and then remarking where you want the lines to go 
go so even though it's permanent there are fixes so don't worry about wood burning your molds for those lines I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me today as I marked up all my molds if you did why not leave me a thumbs up any comments down below and until the next video comes out I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then bye